Greetings from Care Fertility. Couples struggling to conceive a pregnancy often ask, what can we do to help ourselves? In this video, I'm going to suggest six steps you can take to help yourself. The first step then is your diet. There is no evidence that a particular diet or particular food item will improve your fertility chances. Having said that, there is evidence that a balanced diet enriched with fruits and vegetables as well as lean protein and micronutrients is likely to be good for you. I suggest you avoid processed meat and minimize fatty food and sugar. In terms of micronutrients, folate is very important, but so is vitamin D. Research from our team has shown that IVF success rates are very strongly linked to vitamin D levels. You can get your micronutrients from a balanced diet, but many couples take food supplements that contain folate and vitamin D. The second step relates to your weight, in particular your body mass index. You want your body mass index to be between 19 and 30. Our clinic will treat patients with a BMI of up to 35, but it is ideal if you can bring it down to below 30. Remember, the combination of diet and exercise is better than diet or exercise alone. And a group program is better than you laboring to lose weight by yourself. The third step relates to alcohol and caffeine. There is no such thing as a safe limit for alcohol. So it is best if you can completely stop it for at least three months before your fertility treatment. If you find you cannot stop it, please do not consume any more than one to two units, any more than once or twice a week. As for caffeine, the evidence is split, but most specialists will recommend that you limit your coffee or tea to two cups a day. And that advice applies to both male and female partners. The fourth step is on complementary therapies, particularly acupuncture. There are many studies on this subject, but the evidence is split. Some studies show a benefit and others don't. So we cannot make any strong recommendations. Having said that, it does seem acupuncture may be helpful around the time of embryo transfer. I suggest you choose an acupuncturist near your clinic so that you do not spend too much time rushing between your fertility clinic and the acupuncturist. What about yoga? If it helps you relax and unwind, go for it. The fifth step is one of my favorites, sleep. A Korean study found that women who sleep seven to eight hours had better IVF success rates than those who slept less than seven hours. We do need further research on this, but in the meanwhile, aiming for a decent night's sleep seems a very good idea. The final step is on managing stress. There is emerging evidence that stress can affect your fertility. There was an interesting study that showed women who were exposed to entertainment by a clown after embryo transfer did much better than women who were not exposed to entertainment. We do need further research on this, but in the meanwhile, why don't you get some funny movies? Acupuncture or yoga may help relieve stress too. You do need a robust everyday strategy for regular stress management. So let's summarize what you can do to help yourself. Say yes to fresh fruits and vegetables, lean protein and micronutrients, particularly folate and vitamin D. Say no to processed meat, alcohol and smoking. Achieve a body mass index between 19 and 30. Sleep for seven to eight hours and have a plan for managing stress. And please don't become overly regimental about any of these suggestions. If you start to worry about any of these steps and make them the focus of your life, you are unlikely to help yourself. So put to practice these steps with a light touch. So may I recommend that you stop watching this video now and tune into a good comedy show. That is medical advice. Mm -hmm.